Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but I went on a fries run and I picked up something amazing today and I just want to share with everybody. I picked up the Poseidon M1 Gaming Combo from Gamdios or Gamdios, uh, however you pronounce it. It's, one, it's a fairly new peripheral company. This is their little entry level gaming combo and it comes with a mouse, keyboard and a headset and it was on sale promo code wise at Fry's if you're a member or if you sign up for their email newsletters this was only $39.99 today and I just want to show everybody what the item looks like I'm a bit of a noob to the PC gaming world but I picked up a, a new Dell gaming laptop and I just wanted to pair this whenever it was docked at home I just want to show everybody my $39.99 pickup all right guys so this is the Poseidon M1 combo from Gandius. It comes with the Ares M1 gaming keyboard, the Zeus E2 optical gaming mask, and the Eros E1 stereo gaming headset. So the first thing up is the Eros headset. The microphone folds and it's an omnidirectional microphone. It has noise cancelling features and there is lights, there are lights. So here are a few more other specifications and features of the headset. There's a mute button and volume rocker on the side. And let me turn off the lights so you guys can see a little bit better. So next up is the Zeus E2 optical, oh, opti <laughs> optical gaming mouse. It has a flexible DPI range. It maxes out at about 3200 DPI. You just press. There's also a center DPI control button and allows you to change the sensitivity of the mouse. On the fly, as it says on the box. It's perfect for snipers or MMOs where speed is key. So, here are a few other stats or features of the mouse. And let me turn off the lights as well so you can get a better look at it. These are all USB 2.0, by the way. And finally, here is the keyboard. Here is the Ares M1. Comes with superb neon light illumination. It uses seven colors that lightens up the astounding lighting effects. So, a few things about the keyboard it is spill resistant, so if you do have an accident, it should survive. It does feel a little cheap. It's mostly due to its weight because it's about 0.65 kilograms. There is a good feel to it. I do like buttons that are a bit more squishy than usual it's not a it's not gonna feel as clicky as a mechanical keyboard but I believe it gets the job done I've tried it in a few games and you know uh, I don't see any lag or anything of that sort in short pretty much it's okay for a $39.99 <laughs> combo set so one thing that was pretty difficult to find out was how to turn on the lights on the keyboard I did some research online and apparently the button's right there where the scroll lock is. So if you guys end up buying this keyboard, that's where the light is for the keyboard. Mind you, the scroll lock button is the on and off. Well, I have used this keyboard and mouse and headset to play a few games like PUBG and Fortnite and it, it got the job done. For me, I'm still a noob, so you know I don't have a mechanical keyboard or a mouse with a higher DPI or anything of that sort. But I think for noobs like myself, it's a good entry level set to get your feet wet. And if you guys have any comments or anything to say about this, please make sure to leave one. And also, please remember to subscribe and like and keep my channel going. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.